Hey, what's up everybody? I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to show you guys my collection. I'm going to show you guys what I collect, how I collect, how I sell my cards, what I buy, and I'm going to do this the old fashioned way with some records. And if you guys see my first video ever on YouTube, this is exactly how I did it. I showed off this record, I played it on my turntable, and then I just went around and sh showed you my collection. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what I collect and how I collect and what's inside of my collection and all that fun stuff. So be right back. All right, let's get started. Let's pull these uh, records out real quick. My Dodgers 1959. My turntables. Yep, got to love me some titties. Let's turn these on. What's up, Foofy? <laughs> my roommate. All right, let's do this old school. Let's turn this on real quick. On August 31st, there you go. Here's my showcase. Starting off with my bobbleheads. Little did they realize that baseball history was to be made that night. And a young left hander named Sandy Koufax would attain baseball immortality. Koufax has struck out 15 San Francisco batters through eight innings. He had to strike out the side in the top of the ninth to set a new National League record and tie the all-time Major League record. It'll be Eddie Bressu, the shortstop, then Danny O'Connell, and we'll see about Sanford spot. I love me some autographs. This is my wall of fame. Check this out. I'm going to open this up real quick. It's a 2-2 tie. Sandy Koufax, who came within a whisker, I believe. This is my autograph. Sandy checking signs with Roseboro. Now nods in agreement, goes to his windup and delivers. Curve ball for a strike. Sandy has struck out 15. He has numbered every giant in his strikeouts. The strike one pitch to Bressu, fastball fouled away, 0-2. We'll I did pick up some autographs. So I'm going to be doing a wall of fame pretty soon on that, on those. And, uh, man, there's four of them. I picked the four killing autographs. But I got to do a proper introduction on those. So uh, let me show you guys some of my, uh, my other autographs. So This is my other autographs, my binder autographs. The, the autographs I get that are not graded. I usually get the graded ones only for um, authenticity. You know, these are the ones that I find for a buck. You know, I find these, or I pull them from a pack, I find them for a buck, or a care package. This is a care package from uh, Victor Negrom. Uh, these, I got all these for a buck. You know, you can't beat that. I think I pulled that from a pack. I bought that for a couple bucks. It's uh, Frank Robinson. So, I also collect autographs. You know, I don't have that many because, uh, you know, they're kind of pricey. <laughs> Unless I get a really good deal. Like this Miguel Tejada. Bought that for a buck. So, if I pull it from a pack or uh, buy it for a buck or a couple bucks, you know, I'll, I'll pick them up. My Vita Blue. I pulled these from a pack. Still don't know who that player is and he's a Dodger. <laughs> Whatever. Jack Flaherty. Pulled that from a pack. Pulled these uh, Kingery and Albies from a pack. This Willie Calhoun from a pack. And uh, the last one I did was a Luke Void, I believe. Let's see if he's there. It's not here anywhere. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, here he is. This was the last one I pulled from a pack. So I also collect autographs. On to the next. I love me some relics. And man, a lot of these relics I get for a buck. <laughs> or care packages. But damn, it seems like people kind of forget about these players and... Uh, after a couple of years, like people don't want them. It seems like. Check out this Bernie one. It's really cool. Bill Buckner. I love me some relics, man. Game used bats and jerseys. How could you go wrong with those? I'm surprised more people don't collect these. The only relics I don't like are the fat ones, like the really, really fat ones, the ones where you need those special top loaders. I have a few where I can't fit into this pocket page, but I don't have that many relics at the moment, but. Something I'm going uh, to consider getting. Here's a Juan Marichal one. Really cool. Let's see what else. Larry Walker. This is a really cool one, man. 
Manny Ramirez, game use ticket with the game use bat. Maury Wills. Pulled that from the pack. Machado. I have another one, uh, game use ticket. Here it is. Miggy, game use ticket. Check out the pinstripe. Awesome. Love me some relics, man. So, on to the next. Walter Austin, which was a care package. So, on to the next. Man, this record is exciting. I feel like I'm at a Dodger game. That being said, check this out. My Dodger binder. I start off on my team cards. And then uh, team sets, some playoffs. I'm going to do another video on this. Uh, a more in detail of my Dodger binders. But I start off from 52. And from there it goes to the 60s. And then some of the 50s. Which I have very few of. Pretty cool. Uh, to the 70s, some of the 70s. So I am a, a team builder, but only for the Dodgers, of course, because I'm a Dodger fan, obviously. Pretty cool. Check that out on the field. I'm right there. You can see myself right there. Ah, just kidding. Dodger band for Brooklyn. Pretty cool. My hologram. This is the only card that I had since I was a kid. When I found my collection, this is the only card I did not get rid of. Because this was my grandma's baseball card. My grandma went to this game and uh, I wanted it really, really, really bad. So I asked her if I can have it and she didn't want to give it to me, but she ended up giving it to me. And she told me, take very good care of it, sir. So I did. And that's the only remaining baseball card I have from my childhood. That's the only one I did not get rid of when I found my collection and I sold it. So let me pull another Dodger binder up. Be right back. So for another Dodger binder... I am a player collector. This is my Dodger binder for my player. Again, I'm gonna go on into a more detailed binder with, with these. I'm just gonna show you, I'm just showing you guys a, a few of a few. My Brett Butler right there. My Channel Park. Pretty cool autographs from Chris Taylor. You got Belly Bonds right there, some Chris Shaw right there. Oh my god, what's going on over here? Somebody hit a home run. Man, I miss baseball. <laughs> it literally feels like I'm listening to a game on the radio. And uh, watching these Dodger cards <laughs> and listening to Vince Scully. God damn, I miss baseball. All right, on to the next. Be right back. Wally Moon just hit a home run. Just hit a home run over the left field screen. That's what all the excitement was about when I was looking through my Dodger binder. <laughs> Crazy. So another way I collect is probably, I guess you could continue saying I'm a set builder, but I'm trying to take my collection elsewhere. This is my binders right here. Let me pull out one of these sets. So I'll just show you the 56 because that's pretty cool. So I guess you can continue saying I'm a set builder, but again, I'm trying to take my, my collection elsewhere. Unless I get like a really super duper fat stack like I did with the 65 recently. You know, I have no interest on uh, set building anymore. But I am going to finish this set. I am going to finish this set, this set, this set, and start on the high numbers. So these sets right here, I am going to finish. Those over there, I highly doubt it. I need one more card for this one. So I'm going to finish these. So on to the next. Another way I like to collect are rookies. I love me some rookies. And uh, I'm still working on this binder, so you're probably going to see nothing but like Dodger cards minus this bubble shit. Here's a Corey Seager, so it's rookies and rookie cups. That's what goes in this binder. Okay, so I don't have a rookies binder here yet, so I'm, I'm going to need to buy another set of binders. But in the meantime, I'm going to set these rookie cards in here from all the packs that I pulled or from all the books that I buy or from all the care packages I receive. This is where they're all going. My Fernie right there. My Gavin Lux right there from his Bowman. Ivan Rodriguez. Ruiz. Pedro. We got Lofton. We got uh, Vladdy right there. Vladdy Jr. Some Walker Bueller. And some Will Smith. So that's all I have in my rookie binders so far. They're all pretty much in here. So I'm organizing all my rookies and baseball cards and all that fun stuff. So these are going to end up 
in here. And uh, yeah, these are my rookie binders. So I also collect rookie cards and rookie cups. So on to the next. I'm also a player collector. And this is what I'm doing. This is a new way I'm going. You know, like, again, I'm not trying to set build anymore. And um, I'm probably most likely going to be buying those sets already completed. So I don't have to buy any more commons. It'll, it'll just be easier for me to buy the sets already completed. But this is the new way I'm going. I'm player collecting. So oldest to newest is what I'm doing. Here's a few. Check this out. Pretty cool. My baby Ruth. And never mind the pricings. That's what I paid for these cards. It's all personal preference. And um, I'll make a separate video of why I put pricings on my cards. And uh, maybe it'll help you guys and maybe you guys will do the same. I don't know. Really cool deal. I got this for a buck. Damn. Steal of a deal. Who says vintage cards are expensive? Look at, all, look at the prices and all these, man. I find really, really good deals. Patience is key. So, you all get the idea. I'm a player collector. Pretty cool, pretty cool. On to the next. Alright guys, so here's a binder I haven't shown you guys yet. It's my T206 binder, and, uh, oh, I forgot I, I put it over here. Um, I don't have that many cards in there, that's why I haven't shown you guys this binder yet, but, um, I temporarily have all my Dodger cards in here for now, because, uh, I'm gonna upgrade my Dodger binders. So these are out, and uh, I'm gonna have a new set of binders that's gonna spell out Dodgers all the way across, because I literally have, like, five, six binders full of Dodger cards. Now, since I'm not gonna be set building these... Um, I'm not sure anymore if I'm going to continue putting cards in there or just take out those whole binders and just put a new, a whole new theme up here. Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> so, here's, uh, here, here, this is what was inside that binder. This is my pre-war stuff that I would buy. And, um, I don't have that many of them. These are all, uh, purchases from combined shipping. So, um, whenever I saw one and I... Whenever I saw one in a, in a listing or an auction and there was like um, combined shipping offered and there's and some of these were in there, then I would just throw a bid and if I won them, I won them. So I I ended up winning these. This is all I have so far. And I forgot that Kershaw was in here. <laughs> this was a sample shot from Kershaw because I wanted to see if he would fit in eight pocket pages because this is a pretty thick relic and it, and it worked. So um, that being said, I just rediscovered a Kershaw on my binder. Because I did that a long time ago. Alright, on to the next. Alright, let's listen to the voices of Jaime Harin. This is a Spanish broadcasting for the Dodgers. Who, um, still broadcasting by the way. He's also in the Hall of Fame. And uh, this is how I grew up listening to games because my grandma did not speak English. And uh, every time uh, I hear this record, it kind of gives a little uh, sad story on my end. <laughs> but in a good way, though. In a good way. So th this is my theme binders. I mean, uh, no longer binders. These are my theme boxes. This is what I also collect. I also collect uh, graded cards. And um, these are all different themes, okay? So on this one, this is all my Hall of Famers. Stars and Hall of Famers. All right here. I gotta organize these. In fact, I might cut these out actually. I'm debating if I should just cut them out because it's not really worth keeping these in a in a slab format because these are all pretty much low grade. And I got these like dirt cheap. I think I paid like a couple bucks for a lot of these, like five bucks, four bucks, five bucks, ten bucks. But this this is my all my Hall of Famers, my a lot of pre-war stuff. You know, some stuff that I got for a really good deal. I paid ten bucks for this, Bob Gibson. You know. Ugh. Let's go through that real quick. Got my Buck Weaver, some Carl Hubble, a lot of pre-war stuff in here. Chief Fender, a lot of my rookies. Here's my uh, Cy Young, my Dick Kerr right there, my Drysdale, my Newcomb rookies. There you go, some Snyder, Eddie Seacott, pretty cool. My Banks rookie card right here. Then we got Fred Merkel, Frank Chance, Frank Robinson. Oop, already falling apart. My Hodges, Grover, uh, Hal Chase, more Hal Chase, Mike Greenberg, my Happy Felt, I showed that recently. My Jackie Robinson, Johnny Evers, my Joe DiMaggio, Burke Ross, 
Remember, I was just talking about this to this car the other day. Check this out, dude. Stunning condition. Damn. Really cool. So, Johnny Avers, uh, Lefty Williams, Lord Wayner, Bordrew. My Luke Garrett card right there. Mal Wheat, Nicky Cochran. Pretty cool. Nolan Ryan rookie card. My Pee Wee that I just showed off. My other Pee Wee that I just showed off. My 57 Pee Wee. Alright, next row. We got a Shock right there. We got my Roberto Clemente. Pretty cool. Look at that Shock Corners, man. Damn. Stunning. Man, seeing that car turns me on. Robin Roberts. The Raja Hornsby. You got Maris right there. More Maris. Rube Waddell. My Colfax tricky. My Satchel Page rookie. Damn. How fun. My Tris Speaker. My Tommy Lasorda rookie. My Type Cobb baseball card. Pretty cool Type Cobb. Some Spawning right there. Here's another uh, Willie Keeler right there. My Maze rookie right there. My 52 Maze rookie. My 54 Maze. My 56 Maze. See what else? My Yogi. Damn, you've been Yogi Beard. So I keep all this A to Z, just like everything else in my binders and everything else I do with my with my stuff. A to Z from first name. It's just it's a lot easier for me to uh, to know where everything's at and to catalog, catalog everything else. So I buy a lot of Hall of Famers and stars only for the authenticity. Authenticity. I'm sorry. Excellent five. That's probably the highest grade I have here. See the two, as you can see, very good three. If you look, I don't buy cards for the grades. I'm not that type of collector. I buy them for the eye appeal, and I save a lot of money and I find a lot of good deals. Check this out: PSA four, ten bucks. See, and look at look at the card, man. Look how badass it looks. I'll take that any day over a ten, and it funds more money for my baseball cards. Onto this, onto this box. This is all my pre-war stuff. I also collect pre-war. I don't have that much, but I do have a handful. All my pre-war stuff, my tobacco. This is a, a card I just recently showed to you guys. My card from the 1880s. Some caramels from 21. Some more caramels, 22. A fellow who's banned from baseball. Pretty cool, huh? So, I also collect pre-war. And for my last box, this is pretty much the remaining autographs. What doesn't go into my wall of fame goes in here. What Whatever goes out from my wall of fame goes in here. And this is slowly starting to stack up. This, this is uh, some more autographs. So I guess this is the end of the video. <laughs> I guess you can say. Or since we're coming across towards the end of the video. But I collect all sorts of different ways. It's not just vintage, just to let you guys know. I collect rookies, I also collect Dodger cards, modern and vintage Dodger cards. I collect relics, you know. So now I collect Don Mossy, who always seems to make it in one of my videos. Man, he has a face only a mother can love. Johnny Padres, Ronce, Seavers, McCarver, Maury Wills, Mickey Owens, a card that I was looking for forever. Phil Negro, got this at a hell of a deal. 10 bucks, you know, damn, it's like, who says vintage is expensive, man, you can find them all day, in fact, let me show you guys something, Ugh. see this, right here, these are all my recent pickups, and which I haven't made a video in yet, and there's a lot of good deals in there, so, damn, I feel like I'm out of breath already, Whew. so, that's the way I collect, you know, my binders are going to be, uh, they're going to start transforming, you know, within a couple of months, you know, a lot of this stuff is going to be out and there's going to be new names. You're going to have, you're going to see when it says Dodgers, you're going to see when it says rookie, Rookies, and then I got that space right there, not sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I might go all the way down and put these boxes that usually go there, maybe they'll go up there, but originally I wanted to put these up there so I can clear this out and make this all into a table. Because I'm trying to make this more office friendly because of work. Because I do a lot of paperwork, at, you know, from home. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm out of breath already. I feel like I did a complete workout over here just showing you guys all my stuff. 
So this is the way I collect. Again, there's no right way to collect. There's no wrong way to collect. There's only your way to collect. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Toodles. Ty Cobb. Mateazo profundo por el jardín izquierdo central. Rupert Jones en busca de la pelota. La pelota se va, se va, se va. Jones hacia atrás contra la barda. Da un salto, no puede con la pelota. Esta pique se extiende. Allá va recogiéndola ahora. El left fielder dando vuelta a la tercera y viene anotando el pingüinito Ramsey. <laughs> Man, I love baseball in Spanish.